Hey folks, welcome back to this channel. Really appreciate everybody that keeps coming back. I'm out today on a local hike, like really local. I walked out my front door, walked out of my neighborhood, walked down the road about a half mile. This is the Christmas Lake area. It uh, is near Rattlesnake Lake here in King County, Washington. Super easy to access. Just go up to Rattlesnake Lake, cross the road, and there's a bunch of trails. They're not as well maintained as some of the other ones, but there's also nobody here, um, which makes it kind of nice. The, uh, you know, I'm not out looking for anything particular today other than good mental health. It's always get out, good to get out, take a walk. It's even better to get out and take a walk through the trees. So can't beat that. Um, you know, I'm thinking as I get up here, might see some smaller trees, still have a little bit of color on them, underneath of the canopy of the pines and cedars and spruces that live here. So if not, I know up around Christmas Lake, there might be some views. Um, it's late in the afternoon, might get some sunsets. Uh, the back end of this, goes up against Boxley Creek. And I keep hearing water over there. Sounds a lot like a waterfall. So I might have to go check that out sometime. Uh, this might be the day, not quite sure. So yeah, no real plan other than to get out here uh, with you. Show you this little slice of King County. It's hard to believe there are areas like this in this county, same county Seattle, Washington's in. So let's go see if we can find some photos to make together. Hey, the uh, only drawback to really coming up here and photographing is these are all second, third growth forests. They've been logged uh, and there's a lot of undergrowth and it's just uh, sometimes a little hard. This lake was formed on Christmas Day when uh, a bunch of water actually left Rattlesnake and flooded the small town that was living here. Everybody had to leave within a few hours. So it's not um, what we'll call a natural lake. Uh, it's here because Rattlesnake's here and Rattlesnake Lake is here because there was a dam built that um, pushed water down through the soil and uh, filled the low spot that is where Rattlesnake Lake sits today. So it can kind of be kind of messy. These lakes aren't very old. They're not you know, ancient alpine lakes or anything like that. So I'm gonna walk up here back into the woods and see, see if we can find anything. Thanks for coming along for at least this little history lesson. We'll see if we can get some, see if we can get a picture or two out of it. Hey folks, I, uh, I made it out to Boxley Creek here. Got to watch my step, it's a little slippery. Um, it was quite a bushwhack to get here. I don't think they really want you down here off the trail, um, but here I am. Uh, there's, a, there's a creek here. I wouldn't call it a waterfall, like Babbling Brook. And, um, but I think there might be a nice composition here. I'm just kind of looking around and trying not to fall into the creek. So um, let me go get set up and then I'll show you what I think I've got. Hey, I'm starting to feel a little bit worse for wear here. Um, I didn't show the setup on this shot because honestly, I was kind of precariously balancing on a bunch of mossy rocks. I'm down kind of off a trail where nobody will come by. And uh, I was just more worried about my safety than I was trying to get some YouTube stuff. Um, and. Uh, so yeah, I do want to show you, however, kind of how, where I was and what the shot looked like and uh, what I did to get it all going. So I'll do that. And if the picture's any good, I will put it up here. I'd appreciate uh, hearing what you think about it. Yeah, this is pretty close where the camera was. Uh, maybe a little lower. Uh, I had a... Um, horizontal orientation, I mean a vertical orientation. Um, 
Actually, why don't we switch over to the vertical orientation so I can show you a little bit more of the photo and how I had to set it up. Okay, I know this orientation's a little weird on YouTube, but I thought it'd do a whole lot better. This is approximately where my camera was. I had a little bit wider lens, maybe more like right here, because I wanted to get those rocks that are on the right-hand side in. They have a nice glow. I wanted to get this rock in, get the V of the water coming around it. I did a four exposure section, so two by two for focus stacks. I took a focus on the rock closest to me, and then I focused a little bit further up um, the creek, up the waterfall, water feature here. That should give me enough focus. The one here was uh, yeah, within a meter, and a little bit further back got me to infinity. And then for each exposure, I also did uh, to expose for the dark area. So these mosses and rocks are all pretty dark. Uh, so those were all exposed at two and a half or two seconds. And then uh, I redid another set of shots at like one fifth or one quarter of a second. I did that by upping the ISO. Uh, that helps kind of freeze the water, makes it not look so washed out. I'll show you both of those so you can kind of see the difference of blending. Uh, so I'll blend all those together and uh, show you the photo. The other thing is I had a polarizer on, pretty much max polarization, really trying to cut down the glare of the shiny water on the rocks, cut through a little bit of the water uh, to help get some depth. So that's the other part to this photo. Again, here it is, let me know what you think. Well, I think that's gonna be it for me today. Uh, thought I'd get more than one photo, but I'm losing the light. Uh, sunset's here in just a few minutes. Uh, and after having bushwhacked my way back up out of there, I'm kind of worn out. So I appreciate you staying with me this long. Uh, you've seen the photo, I haven't seen the photo. I'd love to hear in your comments below what you thought. Give me your best critique. Always looking to get better. This community really helps me. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, give me a thumbs up. Helps me know what type of content you like. If you want to see more of me exploring and photographing the Pacific Northwest and the Central Cascades, I ask that you just hit that subscribe button, turn the little bell on so you get alerts when I send out new videos every week. Well, like I said, thanks for coming along this long. This is it for me. Bye for now, folks.